Hi guys, welcome to Armchair Adventures, a brand new interactive podcast for imaginative older people and children, hosted by me, Connie. Before we get started, if you like the show, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're listening on iTunes, please rate and review. If listening elsewhere, please use hashtag Armchair Adventures to say nice things on social media. It really helps us spread the word. Thank you. Love you guys. On an In this episode, we're going on an armchair adventure with... Drumroll, please. (laughs) Carla. Say hello, Carla. Hello. Happy New Year, everybody. Of course. Happy New Year. You don't sound very happy. I don't feel I have much to be happy about. It's a new year. A fresh start. So much possibility. I mean, have you made any resolutions? Nope. Have you? I'm going to keep positive. Easier said than done, but I find it helps to look forward. But it's so cold and it gets dark so early. Today's a lovely day. You can't beat a beautiful, bright, frosty morning in northern England. After nearly a year at home? I think we probably could, Carla. It'd be better anywhere but here. I must admit... The other day I was doing my dishes and after I'd squirted the liquid into the bowl, I noticed a little bubble sitting on top of the bottle. I squeezed the bottle and it floated away. I thought to myself, oh, I wish I was in that bubble. Where would you have floated off to, Carla? A change of scenery would be nice. You're right about that. But it was the bubble that struck me, pretty and floating. I haven't thought about bubbles, other than the support kind, or my one at school and how I've not seen my best mates in forever. Well, I'm missing my nephew's little girl. She's nearly one. She'll be taking her first steps soon. That is a shame to miss that. They they send videos and have online chats, but it's not the same, is it? I'm looking forward to giving the baby a hug. Thanks for sharing. I really appreciate it. I will try to keep positive. I'll get the rest of the customers on the phone now so they can join in. Have all my lovely customers on a conference call now ready to take part. Say hi everyone. Hola. Hiya. Hiya. Buenos dias. Hola. Hello there. Well, great to see you. Such a pleasure. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> How did you do there? Hi. Hi. Hiya, Chuck. So guys, this podcast is an adventure of the imagination. And I want all you listeners, hi, by the way, yes, you, the person listening to this right now, hi, I want you to join in with me and my customers who are joining us via a conference call. You'll all be like acting and moving and singing, all from the safety of where you are right now, this very moment. It doesn't matter that we can't see each other or we're miles apart. We're going to be using our imaginations and bodies and voices together. It's going to be awesome. We've been talking about our bubbles and how we wish they were real so we could float away in them. What do you all think? I'd love to float about in a bubble. We could bump along next to each other. All the colours of the rainbow, shiny and translucent. I suppose they are quite magical when you think about it. Apart from in the washing up, where else would you find bubbles? I have a big bottle of pop here full of them. If I shook it up, I could watch them all burst out like a volcano erupting. Oh, there's a parcel here that's all protected in bubble wrap. I'm having a lot of fun popping them. Whenever I have a bath, I like to make a Santa Claus beard out of bubbles. When I'm with the kids, we blow bubbles into a milkshake through a straw. I can make a snot bubble. Ew, Lily. I make bubbles when I eat mushy peas and get into the bath. Uh, John. <laughs> you lot, that's gross. 
I was thinking about making bubbles with a wand or when I'm swimming underwater. Listeners, how would you make bubbles? Guys, can you do actions with your body to show different ways of making bubbles? I can. I'm puffing my cheeks out. I'm blowing like a fish. That's brilliant, Jean. I'm pretending to shake up a bottle of pop. Great, Linda. I'm spreading soap suds on my face to make a beard. I'm blowing glass. They're great, guys. The school kids are walking by my window. I'm wondering what on earth I'm doing now. I'll give them a little wave. Hello there. I'm doing an armchair adventure. An armchair adventure. Oh, forget it. I'm washing my car, Connie. Excellent, Barry. Now, listeners, can you do actions with your body to show different types of bubbles? Or you can give one of my customers ideas a go instead if you like, listeners. Don't worry about the neighbours. Ready? Let's do it. When you do the activities in this podcast, listeners, I want you to really engage with your imagination as you act, move and later on sing, just like my customers do. See the colours, experience the smells, feel the weight of imaginary objects in your hands, feel the textures, really live in that moment. If Ronnie and me can do it, anyone can have a go. The most important thing, listeners, is to have fun. Now, let's help Carla decide on today's armchair adventure. So, Carla, you're trying to stay positive. Yes. I'm enjoying finding wonder in things. Things that I once might have taken for granted. Well, what if, instead of dark, rainy and miserable, I took you to bright, crisp and mystical? Would you like to see the Northern Lights? And... How about we travel in our very own bubbles? Sounds great, but a very tall order, Connie. Trust me, Carla, we can make this happen. I know just the place. Uh, If you're sure. It does sound marvellous. OK, everybody, pack up your picnic. I'm going to take you all on an armchair adventure in our very own bubbles to see the Northern Lights. Wow! Look at all the bubbles! The whole garden is covered in them! They're huge! I've got to pop them! This is great fun! Barry, what are you doing? I can't catch this one! Got it! Yeah, let's all have a go! Listeners, see if you can pop the bubbles! There are bubbles everywhere! Catch them if you can! They're coming from the left! That's it. Get them. What about the ones over to your right? Don't forget the ones you have to stretch up to reach. Can you see those that are low on the floor, listeners? Connie, I think I think we'll need bigger bubbles than these to travel in. I think you're right. What can we do to make them bigger? Does anyone have a bike pump? Or some bellows? I have an idea. Where are you going, Carla? My shed. Here we go. I knew it'd still be in here. My hula hoop. It's massive. Should do the trick. If we fill a big bowl with washing up liquid and dip in the hoop, then we can make some human-sized bubbles around ourselves. Hmm? What do you think? Good plan. Great. Let's give it a go. I've got what we need. Jean and Barry, will you go first? We'll be your guinea pigs. (laughs) 
Oh, gently, gently. Let's move the hook. That's it, that's it. Go on, we can do it. What a shame. You're both inside it as well. They're very fragile, aren't they? We really need to make it stronger so it'll last. We could wrap it in bubble wrap. Or strengthen it from the inside with more bubbles. We won't need any of that. Feel how cold it is. It's freezing. You know what that means. What does it mean, Linda? They're made from water, aren't they? So... If the temperature gets below zero, they'll freeze. That's brilliant. Oh, OK, we can do this, team. Let's try again. Come on, freeze. Please, freeze. Wow! 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 wow. You're in. How does that feel? Cold. I can see my own breath. <sighs> A frozen bubble. Now that really is magical. Great. Who's going to bubble with who? Keith and I live together, so we'll be in one. Lily and I can go next. Who are you travelling with, Connie? Uh, I don't want to choose. It's not nice feeling left out. I don't want to make anyone feel that way. Don't worry about that, Connie. None of us will take it personally. It's not like anybody will miss out. You come with Ros and me. Is that okay with everybody? Of course. Let's get this bubble on the road. Great. Everyone's on board. Listeners, are you in your own bubbles too? This is definitely a first. It's a bit chilly in here. I'm glad I wrapped up warm. Suddenly my head feels clearer, like after a walk in the winter air. I feel very safe. It's got a lovely fresh smell, hasn't it? It's icy to touch. This is brilliant. I feel like I'm absorbing. Like you what? I'll show you. You put your hands out in front of you, run on the spot and gently push the front. I feel like a hamster in a wheel. This is how we go forward, see? Whoa! Come on, listeners, you can do it. Whoa! Slow down, Connie. I can't keep up. Come on, everyone, follow me. How do we drive this thing? Just run with it, Pat. It'll do what you do. Listeners, are you with us? Off we go, everybody. Come on, Barry. We're leaving without you. Wait for me. Watch out for that fence. We'll have to jump it, guys. After three, everybody jump. One, two, three. Wow! Whoa. I feel like I'm on a ride at Blackpool. Here come the cobbles. Watch out, listeners. This is going to get bumpy. Oh, oh, look at the dog. It's chasing us. It must think we're a ball. Watch out for that frog. Can we leap the pond? Are you ready, listeners? It's coming in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, that was like the log flume. I can't see where we're going. We'll dry off. That was so much fun. Well done, listeners. The wind is picking up. That should send us in the direction of where we need to go. Does anyone feel like they're not on the ground anymore? You're not, Carl. You're in the air. You're floating. So are you, and you. We have lifted oh, oh, oh. Look down. We're flying. What a lovely feeling. I feel like I'm in a hot air balloon. I can see all around me. Look how small that cow is from up here. I can see 
everything for miles. Nothing can get to us, but we can get to them. It's so peaceful. I feel very calm. It is magical. Okay, guys, I don't know how long our frozen bubbles will last, so we better head to where we're going, to the Northern Lights. Lead the way, Connie. This way, Cyril. My bubble has a mind of its own. Let's park up here. What a beautiful view. Picnic time. Lovely spot. Anyone for a cuppa? Yes, please, Linda. I brought a pork pie. Baz, what have you got on your sandwiches? Sardines. We've got some flapjacks. Listeners, what do you like in your picnic? Enjoy your picnic, guys. Here you are, Connie. This is for you. For me? Oh, thanks, Roz. That's so kind. What's the matter, Connie? Nothing. Go on. It's just... I'm a little bit worried, that's all. I might have brought you all this way and got your hopes up and we might not see the lights. It's a clear night. No reason why not. You might not ask me to take you on any more adventures. Why are you worrying about something that might never happen? That's exactly the problem. It might never happen. I don't want to disappoint you all. We're having a great time. Maybe I should have taken you somewhere different. Somewhere better. It's cold out here, and if we don't see the lights, then it's just a hill in the dark in the middle of nowhere. Oh, Connie. Have you enjoyed flying in the bubbles? Yes. Have you had fun in our company? Absolutely. Was the picnic good? The best egg mayonnaise sandwich I've ever tasted. Thank you, Ros. Is your cup of tea half full or half empty? (laughs) It's half full, isn't it? Yes, it is, Connie. Enjoy what's happening right now. There's nowhere else we'd rather be and no one else we'd rather be with. Isn't that right, everyone? Spot on. Right. Certainly. Yeah. We oui, oui. Sure is. Absolutely. Of course. You bet. Yeah. <gasps> oh, what's that over there? Where? Look. Connie, the lights. Dancing on the horizon. It's very green. Beautiful, but a bit scary. They're quite bewildering. Shimmering and waving in the air. They look like a force field around the Earth. I'm mesmerised. I'm I'm hypnotised. I can't take it in. Makes me think about what nature is capable of and what else we don't know. Wow, listeners. Can you see the Northern Lights? Can you describe them? Amazing. Well done. They're like a special effect. I can't believe they're real. They're real, all right. Nature is immense. Look how small we are in comparison. Oh, what a wonderful phenomenon. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Carla. It was your idea. The bubbles, the lights. You could have made all this happen without any help from me. I don't believe that's true at all. You made our adventure possible. And even if it was true, it wouldn't have been the same without you. Sometimes you may worry about the things you can't control. The stuff that happens in your head and makes you feel alone. You need to see your glass half full. Just breathe and keep looking up Cos it's a new year Put all your troubles into a world of bubbles And watch them float on by Top high, you'll find the starlight 
where dreams begin to shine bright to grab your hopes and fly. That was an experience I'll never forget. Now we have wonderful memory bubbles that'll last us forever. The bubbles didn't last very long, though, did they? Long enough to give us our adventure. Just like the Northern Lights. They were beautiful while they lasted. Thank you, guys. It's been an incredible armchair adventure, and it's taught me so much. To live in the moment and to appreciate what I have got, not worry about what I haven't or what I'm missing. I'm going to think more like you do, Carla. Everything blows over eventually. Onwards and upwards, Connie. It's a new year with new possibilities where anything could happen. You're the best customers a travel agent could ask for. Thank you. Next time, listeners, another one of my lovely customers gets to take us on another armchair adventure, inspired by their passions and interests. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. See ya. Bye for now. So long. Au revoir. Until next time. Bye for now. Sayonara. See you soon. Unbelievable adventure. Goodbye. See y'all. Bye. End call now. Lovely. That was amazing. Thanks so much for joining in. I can't wait to go on another armchair adventure with you all next time. You can make your own armchair adventure listeners using our activity pack. Go to www madebymortals.org forward slash armchair dash adventures that's www.madebymortals.org forward slash armchair dash adventures love you guys armchair adventures is a made by mortals production created in collaboration with hearts and minds a theater company for over 55s and with support from arts council england the national lottery united we stream and action together Oh, I'm